all yes <laughs> uh, for about 160 million years dinosaurs were the largest and most successful vertebrates uh-huh then about 65 million years ago these huge archosaurs died out along with the pedosaurs mm -hmm. mosasaurs and other reptiles yeah now a lot of individuals would uh, doubt the encyclopedia but I found a few things I disagree with or would want to fact check but I think there actually was dinosaurs <laughs> for those of you that said that God uh, well made the earth in 5,000 years <laughs> Might have had a little different time frame back then. Now, uh, this diplomatic immunity, mm -hmm. could you get me all the diplomats of every nation that have complete independence of action to perform their duties? Yeah. Now, last night, I was looking at the laws that I am subject to as a citizen of the United States. Yes, my membership in the United States that, well, there's more than just extradition. Let's say I was overseas. Yes, killed somebody. And I got tried in that nation, went to prison, and there could be certain uh, laws that I would have violated in the United States if I'd killed somebody in a different nation. Yes. Now, depending on circumstance right now, mm -hmm. this membership that you do not understand the importance of, yes, um, these diplomats cannot be arrested for any reason. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wanted to know in every nation of the world, because we were looking at the excellency of Catholicism, <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell me all the Catholics that have that? And then uh, there was a reason that we did it this way, so that the the major diplomats, the individuals representing different nations, <laughs> you know, I thought there was a lot of corruption in the United Nations. And when they didn't step in and enforce their authority of the dissolution of marriage, yes. And then I'm almost sure that I committed the crime of bigamy, yes. What would that do to the dissolution of marriage of a United Nations marriage certificate that a little county court decided to use the certificate of service? <laughs> well, it could be a lawsuit. Not in full. Well, United Nations, you know, when you go to visit that UN building every year. <laughs> Why don't you give me the travel plans of those in the United Nations? I, I thought we had a convention against corruption. <laughs> Now, I'm going to find out, okay, yes, if my my wife's previous marriage was actually not uh, done according to the due processes and procedures of law in Jefferson County right now. <laughs> and if I, I find out, yes, that I actually married a woman that was not uh, legally dissolved of the marriage, yes, even though they issued the dissolution of marriage. <laughs> I think there's a huge lawsuit in the United Nations against the United States of America. Yes. Uh, for refusing to enforce their authority. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a swamp. Yes, it is. Could you get me those again? Because North Carolina, the dismal swamp, 750 square miles. We looked at the swamps just a little while ago. Yes. It must have been six to eight months ago. Yes. What if you decided that you were going to Jurassic Park some of these large lizards and then use infrared so as to make a lizard people in the swamplands of the United States of America? <laughs> now, I know you're living there in the swamp, okay? Got a lot of alligators, crocodiles, various types of reptiles. And it's damp living there. Uh, what if you had a heating system? You know, I am very big on this new type of innovation for heating and cooling. Yeah. I like the flat roof. I don't like the pitched roof. Now, if you were sure, yes, that that hot air would blow into just a very small space, maybe a foot in um, actual width from the ceiling, and you put maybe some, oh, you put nothing. You just put the ceiling up there, and you got the joists there. And, and then you had a flat roof, and you used recycled garbage as a type of insulator against, yes. Now, the problem is I'd have to make it maybe a, a tenth of an inch thick. Yes. Because I would want some of that heat to escape. Yeah. Now, uh, in the swamp, yes, where there's a lot of moisture, do you have a mold problem in your personal residence? <laughs>